Hey everyone, this is just a quick video on how to update your Spiral Wallet to the latest version. The process is exactly the same as downloading Spiral Wallet for the first time. So this video will just be a quick recap of how to do that. If you prefer a longer and more in-depth version, make sure to watch my other video, how to download and verify Sparrow Wallet. So let's get right into how to update Sparrow. All right, so here I am on my computer and the first thing I wanna cover is how do you actually know when there's a Sparrow Wallet update? So if you actually open Sparrow Wallet and at the bottom right of your screen, you will see Sparrow 1.7.3 is available. You can also check their Twitter. So here is Sparrow's Twitter. And here we can see they have tweeted that Sparrow 1.7.3 has released. So the first step is to actually click over here and it will open a link. And this is the link that it will open, sparrowwallet.com forward slash download. So make sure you are on sparrowwallet.com as there is a known scam site out there. So sparrowwallet.com. Now again, the process for updating Sparrow Wallet is exactly the same as downloading it for the first time. In this video, I'll basically be speed running through how to download the latest version and how to verify the software. All right, so first thing first, just download Sparrow Wallet for whatever operating system you're on. So I'm on OS X with an M1 chip, so I'm just gonna click on this. And there we go, we can see the software is downloading. Now I also want to verify that the software is authentic. So what I wanna do is click on this manifest file to download this file. And I'm going to download this manifest signature file as well. So I click on that. Now I'm going to scroll down to the verification instructions. So before you do this, you will need GPG or GP2 installed. I already have this installed and I go into how you can do that in my other video. So if you don't have GPG installed, go ahead and watch that video. And let's go on to the steps. So first input the keys that I've signed this release. I've already done this previously. So if I open my keychain, here we can see I already have Craig Raw's key. So now let's move on to the next step. So now what we want to do is verify the manifest file. So we need to change directory into downloads and then run this line. So I'm going to open my terminal. Okay, so the first thing I need to do in my terminal is run this line, CD downloads. So I copy paste that in my terminal and click enter. And there we go. We can now see I'm in my downloads folder. Basically what we're doing is we're telling the computer to look into our downloads folder where all these Sparrow files are sitting. All right, next we need to run this GPG verify. So I'm gonna copy that, paste it in my terminal, click enter. And now this is what we need to look for. So if I take a look at this, then look back at my terminal, we can see it matches. Assuming signed data in Spyro 1.7.3, signature made Wednesday, March 1st, using RSA key with the same key, these match. And then we can see good signature, good signature from Craig Raw. And also note that you may get a message similar to the following, this key is not certified, which I did get. We can safely ignore this warning. Now, one more thing we need to do to verify this download is run one more line, which will differ depending on what operating system you're on. Here's the OS X one, here's the Linux one, and here's the Windows one. So I am on Mac OS, so I need to run this line. So all I do is copy this line here, then I open my terminal again, paste it in, click enter, and this is the output we need to look for, Sparrow 1.7.3.dmg, okay. And if we look here, there we go. That is the correct output. And there we go, we have verified the authenticity of the software we have downloaded. So I'm gonna go back to my downloads over here and then run the actual file. Now what I'll need to do is drag Sparrow to my applications and this will pop up. An older item named Sparrow already exists. Do you want to replace it with a newer one? and we do wanna replace it. So I'm gonna click replace, and it says this can't be completed with Sparrow in use. So I'm just gonna quickly quit Sparrow, which I left running. And let me try that again and click replace. And there we go. We have now upgraded our Sparrow to 1.7.3. Now, if I open Sparrow again, it's gonna say Sparrow is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you wanna open it? And I'm gonna click open because I verified the software myself. And there we go. We're back in Sparrow Wallet version 1.7.3. If you had wallets sitting within your Sparrow wallet, don't worry, they are not gone. You can still go to File, Open Wallet, and all your wallets will appear. And there we go, that was a quick guide on how to update your Sparrow wallet. If you found this valuable, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, everyone.